Odoo tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Odoo and telling you how you can use its CRN and pipeline features. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to odoo.com and over here, what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up. And right now the sign up, it's free. Just simply click on the start now button. And over here, they're basically going to be telling you to choose your app. So over here, let me just choose the CRM application and uh, let me see if we have the pipeline and i think the pipeline application is going to be within the crm so we'll just continue with that so let's go ahead and click on continue and over here to simply enter in your first name your last name email address and all of the other criteria that you can fill and then just simply click on start now so once you have filled it out or as you can see we have signed up welcome to odoo now let's just go over here Wait a couple of seconds for the website to load up and we'll begin with the main part of the video. Now over here, as you can see, this is going to be your dashboard and over here, our database will expire in three hours unless we activate it by email. So let me just go ahead and activate it. And over here, as you can see, this is the email. Just simply click on activate your database and here we'll have to choose a password. Just simply click on activate your database. And once you've done that, all you have to do is just simply invite your employees or your colleagues that you work with. So I'm going to go ahead and add my own email addresses. So you can see once you have added the email, just simply click on a send invites. And once you have done that, just simply go to your dashboard. And over here, as you can see, these is your dashboard. Once again, after you've, you know, activated your email address. So let's just go ahead and click on CRM because this is the software that we chose and I'm going to be telling you about it. So over here, you can create your opportunities to start playing with your pipeline. Okay, so over here, as you can see, we can't, you know, get rid of this guide. So let me just get rid of it and then I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, so this is your CRM and right now we're currently in the pipeline section. Over here, as you can see, the pipeline filter is activated and it's showing us this. So over here, we can manage our leads and generate them. And then we can, you know, move them around as we see fit. So over here, you can create your lead over here. Let me just create one. And over here, we can add the organization name or contact name. We can add the opportunity. We can add email addresses, the phone number and the expected revenue and then just simply click on add and then we can make a priority out of them as well through these three star rating the higher the star the higher the priority is going to be so let's just go ahead and add the name okay and over here let's just simply enter in the phone number and then over here we can add in the expected revenue let's just say that we can make at least a thousand dollars from them so which is pretty nice so we'll just give it a high rating okay and then just simply click on add and as you can see once we have you know added the opportunity our revenue over here has also increased and we can also add a schedule and with them as well so over here if you click on the clock button you can schedule activities to help your employees and your colleagues know what's going on now that we have you know created a new opportunity let's move it over here and let's just see that we have qualified this opportunity that it truly works and it is worth the proposition and stuff like that so once we're over here all we have to do is click on it and once we click on it we can over here edit this priority so we can over here see the name the phone number the salesperson sales team we have expected closing we have the priority as well like we can do add a lot of the information over here so we can even edit the revenue we can add the probability of the profit we can add the expected closing and we can add the tags as well and if you want to add like specific notes for your team members to who are going to be also working on this lead then you can add your notes over here in the internal notes section and if you want to add extra information such as the job position the company the website the campaign the and address and stuff like that you can add them over here as well and over here you have your log notes so you can basically you know log as you go on with the project and now since we have you know done this over here as you can see we can declare we have won this lead or we've lost the lead or we have enric so 
once you have added all of the information and additional information that you want you can go back to the pipeline and you can move it up over here from qualified to propositions now what let's just go ahead and click on the proposition right here and over here we can edit the lead as well so if we edit it over here this is the opportunity right so let's just say that they want us to have you know a different lead as well like they offered us a second proposition so what we can do then is we have to save it and go back to the pipeline and then over here we can go ahead and duplicate it i think over here yeah if we click on the opportunity and click on action over here we can duplicate the lead so if we duplicate it right here right go back to the pipeline and over here we move this up over here into the proposition and then we click on it and let's go ahead and edit it out and since this is a second proposition we'll go with to buy 400 lamps opportunity right and for 400 lamps they're basically giving us let's say two thousand dollars and the probability for it is still 50 percent so yeah and we can add extra notes and stuff like that so let's go ahead and close that and go back to the pipeline now over here as you can see this was the second proposition right but as you can see we only have one proposition so we can add we don't have another column for that so let's go ahead and add another column and we'll call it the second proposition and the second proposition oh click on add and over here as you can see the second proposition has been added let's go ahead and move it over here and then we can just add it over here and now as you can see as we move our opportunities and propositions we can see the revenue move along with it so this is pretty good and over here you can also click on the quick add button over here if you want to you know add a certain proposition within that category and you don't want to like you know drag it all the way over here simply click on the plus icon and you can easily create your own opportunity or lead within that group or column so as you can see it's over here now if we click on it we can go ahead and you know say that contacted it we've got the proposition and we have won the proposition so if we click on one as you can see we go back to the pipeline and we have won the proposition and that is how it basically works guys it's really simple it's really easy all you gotta do is just simply click on these buttons over here and then just move around the column now if you want to generate a real lead so just simply click on generate a real lead what do you need you want to have three companies and their contacts so over here just add in the industry just filters on signs add in the sales team and pages and all the other information that they want and once you have done that just simply click on generate leads and all the leads that the crm will have generated will appear and they will be you know added into this column over here and then you can proceed to contact them and you know move them along the columns as you see fit now what happens if we accidentally you know lost a lead so let's just go over here and click on lost and the reason was we didn't have the people or skills so if we submit it over here as you can see the lead has been lost and if we go back over here there is no lost column over here it's just gone now as you can see over here this is it it was all in the filters right so yeah let's actually make a lost column just in case and we just add it over here close it up and that is basically it that is how you you know use crm's pipeline and that is basically it that is how you use odoo crm pipeline so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye